Hi everyone, it's me, Sailor Moon, Serena, and me, Sailor Venus, and today we're going to have one more Santa Claus talk, but this time it was Santa Claus and OVW. Now, like last year, it was the same Santa Claus from last year, only this year he actually just shit sits there and watches the show. And then you had the OVW World Heavyweight winner come out and say that he was the well-known wrestler in OVW, then writes his name on one of his likeness sheets and give it to as a gift to Santa. But there wasn't really that much, you know, to it beyond Holy Fellow Nicholas coming to the Daver the Danger the Daver Street the the, uh, the dangerously the Nightmare Arena or the Davis Arena, whatever they call it, uh, show house. It probably shifts Ford Hall. I'm sure it shifted its name since oh, since uh, Alice Snow's owned it. But yeah, that's pretty much all it was. It was the two play-by-play -play callers, and then they brought out Holy Fellow Nicholas, Father Yule, and then they say he was one of the well-known man that any wrestling business would ever have, and it is true. Then this brings out the OVW heavyweight winner who uh, starts saying that he's the well-known man and that uh, he then gives Santa Claus or Holy Fellow Nicholas a likeness with his name on it and says that he should never want to seek to shake his hand ever again. Well, <clears throat> anyway, you're probably thinking to yourself, uh, yeah, Salem Moon, you're like, did Holy Fellow Nicholas or Father Yule, whatever you want to call him, the Heavenly Gift Giver, was he doing gather away, follow away, team away? Well, he was and he wasn't. He didn't have his lair, he didn't have any lair wear on or a hide on, so I guess he wasn't, but he probably was. They probably did have to give him a seat before he could come in and do the thing he had to do on the show. But that was it. After that, they just started doing all the fights on his show and all the matches. Kept talking about the nightmare, the nightmare loudness, which is their take off of the King Rick loudness. And that was about it. There wasn't really that much to talk about when it came to Santa Claus or Holy Fellow Nicholas or Father Yule being an OVW this year. Well, if WWE doesn't do one this year, then that will be the last we'll be talking about Santa Claus until this time next year. Well, uh, you're, uh, <clears throat> you're right about that, Sale of Venus. I mean, WWE didn't do it on Monday Night Raw or NXT or Main Event. They have Friday Night Smackdown to do it on. And if they don't do it on Friday Night Smackdown, it'll just be the year without Santa Claus. I'm not talking about the film. The year without Santa Claus, the Holy Fellow Nicholas. I'm talking about WWE, you know, you know, because this year AEW did one for the Christmas Story or a Yule Saga or Yule Tale that film that they run every year. Um, beyond that, there were just you know folks wearing Santa Claus hats, which you could kind of say were Santa Claus, and that was about it. There. And that was it. And for OVW doing their Santa Claus, because the NWA didn't do anything this year. IW didn't do anything this year with Santa Claus in it. And I hope that WWE does a Santa Claus following on Monday, uh, on <coughs> Friday Night Smackdown. So at least I have one ever one to talk about. But if it doesn't happen, and this is the year that WWE doesn't do any Santa Claus in any of their, any of their shows, then it is what it is. Anyway, but if you like that film, Sailor Moon, uh, if you like that film, then by any means, watch the film we made this morning talking about Santa Claus and WWE. Or follow us here at Sailor Moon for Life. Well, I'm Sailor Moon, I'm Serene, I'm Sailor Moon Serena, I'm Sailor Venus Mina, and we hope that YouTube actually has us both looking at the shooter. But probably is not going to pick that. See you later.